All right, guys. What is up, everybody? I have not been back in a while. It's been almost, a, I think, a full week since I've put a video up. But um, I've been procrastinating because it's been really hot this last week. But I need to make some progress on the Integra now. So the struts actually came in a couple days ago. And I ended up going with a cheap set of whatever struts. They're SunTech by prime choice they're actually just like basically oems off of rock auto it's like a an aftermarket supplier for oem i'm just going to take those and i'm putting the the coilover sleeves and springs that i got from amazon on them and i'm going to throw those in for right now just because i couldn't decide on coilovers i didn't want to spend you know 300 dollars on something that would just be super bumpy so i at least know that the uh the oem style struts and shocks should ride decent enough later on i may do coilovers and actually get it low but i just want the car drivable for right now because i haven't got to drive it but like two times so yeah but uh not looking forward to this so i guess i'll get ready and start the time lapse and start putting the suspension on so yeah okay while i get started I'm gonna cut this open and see what these bad boys look like. Strut Tech. I guess, is this the same as the stock one? This has gotta be for, hold on. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, okay. That's where you put that onto there and once it unloads, yeah, I guess it's the right one. So, boom. Okay. Well, it shows you it's got some directions. You know, gonna read those. Let's get going. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, this is pretty much what it looks like. Hold on, right here. This is the cheap strut. You have to swap over whatever this thing's called on the bottom. It um, actually has a bolt right here. You just undo the bolt and it'll slide off of the old one. And you slide it on the new one, it's got a groove. And it'll only go on one way. And then you put the bolt back in, tighten it down, and you're good to go. Then this up here, this has got these little annoying set screws down on the bottom to like hold it and get the the red cylinder straight it, mine's kind of straight it's, it's pretty close but then so this i set it to where i think it'll be a good height so it's got like that much piston showing and then it's like two inches down oh. Ooh, like two inches down and so then it actually touches the spring so yeah that is that is the uh the budget suspension right there all right so that's what it looks like pretty much all bolted up in there it's glorious and um there's on top so yeah pretty simple i'm gonna throw the wheel on and just for, i'm gonna first i need to tighten the axle bolt down i'm gonna get the girlfriend to come out here and hold the brake but um i have about that much space on this side and i'm gonna see how that looks so then i can kind of set up for the other side All right, first test run. 
way too low. I need to turn this thing up more. I, I thought I was gonna stay to be too far up, but I need to go even further up. Goodness. All right, let's try this again. All right, well, I'm bummed out. This sucks. I adjusted those springs up, 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 and this is all the way up on the adjusters. So the spring's all the way up in there. It's like tight. You know, I'm turning the, the things with the spanner wrenches, and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be lifted. This is gonna be sitting way up off the ground. And here it is. I think it's lower than it was before. All right, I don't, so I don't know. These springs, I, I can't recommend them. You know what, maybe I put them in wrong, I don't know. But I have the things turned all the way up and they still just squishes to the ground. I mean, I'm, I don't, I can't even get the jack out from underneath it. We're just laying frame. So I'm, I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm still gonna use these struts but I'm gonna order me some stock springs. This is this thing's going stock height. We ain't trying to look cool. We just we just want to go fast. So, yeah. I, I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another. This car has been a headache, but I love it. That's that's a, that's part of it. It's part of owning a Honda and a high mile turbo Honda. That you're gonna have problems. Um, hopefully, me seeing y'all seeing all my problems can help you uh, in the future. But yeah, I would definitely stay away from like these adjustable spring things. I don't know, I had them on my EF and they worked, but for some reason on the DC2, like I only did it on this one and I've been messing with this one for like the last couple hours trying to get this thing right. I took it back apart, I don't know. I'm just tired and hot and I'm not even going to deal with it anymore. Not trying to be low and cool or I just wanted to actually be a little bit higher than what I was and not on some like sketchy cut springs that are about to kill me. But I tried to cut a corner and save some money. Should have just bought coilovers. Whatever. Now I, I got stock replacement struts. I'm going to order me some stock springs and in the next video she's going monster truck status. She's getting lifted. She's going back up to stock ride height. I'm, I'm done with messing with these, uh, these cheapo spring adjuster cups or whatever you want to call them. So, thank you guys for watching. Didn't get a whole lot done on this one, but uh, I'll see you on the next one. So, dang, I'm bummed out. You know what? Let's start the car up. Just, I, I want to hear it run. So, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so the car has sat for over a week now since I, last time when I painted the valve cover. Um, I think everything is good. Pretty sure it had oil and coolant in it. I don't think I pulled anything out from underneath there. Let me get this out of the way. Hold on. So this is a, a one week cold start on a 300,000 mile turbo Integra. Is that not the right key? Is it this one? Uh, maybe it's because of the wheel. There we go. Ugh. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Come on, baby, live!
might as well. I'm just going to let her run for a little bit, get some heat in her because she hasn't been running in a while. But thank you guys for watching. This is Brandon with Motor Nubs, and I will see you on the next one.